Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we got a pretty, uh, pretty big Beatles update video. We got memorabilia, books, CDs, 45s, and LPs. So we got a pretty, uh, probably be a little bit of a longer video, but um, packed full of uh, pretty cool stuff that I've uh, acquired for the past maybe month or so. Um, uh, but mostly these are pretty new stuff from the past, I guess, couple weeks. I should say. So, I want to start off with, I guess, my uh, one memorabilia piece. Um, I usually don't get into, uh, I guess, new memorabilia things or really old memorabilia Beatles stuff too much, but um, just because it's really hard to find one, and then two, when you find them, it's pretty expensive, and I usually like to stick with uh, records. Um, but I thought I would have a little bit of fun with this one. Um, this is a Blue Mini. Um, uh, cookie uh, cookie jar but um <laughs> I essentially got this for uh for free um it's a limited edition out of 1200 and uh mine is number 325 for whatever that's worth so there's the certificate and here's the actual cookie jar so it's pretty uh pretty big uh, there's the the boots and the blue mini face. Now, me, uh, <laughs> me and my family members were uh, thinking, is this the chief mini or not? Because it doesn't really have like the mustache, but it has the boots. So we didn't really quite sure what uh, blue mini this was. But um, top comes off. Good quality jar, I would say. And um, yeah, it'll be kind of hanging around our kitchen now. So it's pretty, uh, pretty fun um, piece there. So. That's pretty much all I have for memorabilia wise. Um, I do have a book, and uh, I usually, again, I don't really buy books or magazines too much nowadays, but if uh, something catches my eye that looks pretty cool, um, I'll pick it up if, if it's a good price. So I believe this came out in 2002. It is by uh, Robert Freeman. You see that spine there. And again, it's a pretty big, pretty big book. Um, and I thought this would just be really neat to have a photographer that did some Beatles uh, album covers and um, it would just be kind of a really a nice coffee table book and as you can see we've got some nice pictures there and you know, it's a really big book so the pictures uh, you really get to see all the detail which is really nice um, got a, let's see what else we got I mean, yeah. Some nice close pictures of uh, things like that, full page. Um, this kind of nice to go through at such a, a large scale, which is nice. Um, goes through kind of more the early to mid uh, Beatles period. Um, here's Hard Day's Night. Things doesn't really go past, uh, I believe, Rubber Soul, if I would had to guess, but uh, yeah. Yeah, probably rubber sole about as far as it goes, but um, a nice book. Again, nice to have it on a big, big book. Um, here's the alternate cover of what Revolver would have looked like, so that's interesting there. And um, yeah, happy to pick it up and um, go through the pictures. All right, so I think I'm going to start off to the smallest format, going up to the biggest. So we got CD. Here we got Anthology 2. Um, I have Anthology 1 on CD and now Anthology 2 on CD, but Anthology 3 on vinyl. So I kind of got to get that uh, um, completed there. So I got to get one more CD and then a couple more vinyl. So here's the inside CD 1, comes with the booklet. Um, it's kind of Shows you all the merchandise at the time for anthology stuff. It's kind of pictures from the time period. And, and, and uh, sorry, CD2 is a sliced apple. So, and the back. So, yeah, nice to pick this up, put it with my CDs. I don't have a whole lot of CDs, but if it's a original. Like releases like that, like the Live at the BBC and the anthology stuff, I like to pick those up 
and then I kind of like the earlier um, CD UK albums I like to pick up when I can. And um, that's the only CD of this update. But next up we got four 45s, all from Germany. No really um, true picture sleeves, I would say. But um, they do come with an artist sleeve, if which I'll show. So here is, yes it is, and Ticket to Ride. And uh, all these four come in these uh, sleeves here. Um, all of them in pretty decent shape, I would say. Um, the sleeves are a little bit beat up, but that's okay. I got pretty good copies of these uh, German sleeves anyway. So um, really just looking for the, the actual record itself. Um, the sleeve is just a bonus, I would say. All right. So next up in 1964, if I can get out of the sleeve here. All right, well that's not one, that one's not cooperating. All right, still 1964. We got a hard day's night and uh, things we said today. And this one's a pretty interesting uh, 45 uh, coupling here. We got Misery and uh, Ask Me Why. Pretty neat um, single there. And uh, let's see if I can get this one out. I think tape might be caught on the sleeve, so I'm not going to miss um, ripping it or anything. But it is, uh, I want to hold your hand. No, excuse me. I want to be your man with a... Uh, all my loving another interesting kind of single there so I get it. I got four more German 45s um, if you watched my kind of previous uh, videos you kind of see that I've been collecting up some German 45s and trying to get the whole uh, series of uh, German 45s from about you know original 1963 to about mid um, 1980s probably kind of everywhere in between um, probably won't try to get any box sets um, but I'm just trying to get that kind of standalone releases I guess I would say so that does it for the 45s and next up we got one two three four five, we got about ten records to show you I have one solo one Beatles related and all the rest are Beatles so this one I guess, yeah, okay. This one to start off with is kind of interesting. Um, I kind of took a chance on it. Um, we got the Beatles live at the Star Club in Hamburg. And you might be thinking, what's so special about this um, copy here? Uh, show the gatefold. Here's the gatefold. But this copy is from. Japan. So it has a nice uh, booklet here. And not only it is from Japan, it has all the all the lyrics in Japanese. Um, it has some pretty neat uh, cartoons in here as well. It's kind of neat. Anyway, but not only it's from Japan, it is also a white label promo. And I'm not quite sure the value of this one. If anyone knows, please let me know in the comments. Um, there is a release on this on Discogs, but none of it, none has uh, currently sold from the site, and I can't really find any more information about it like online. But um, I believe this is actually uh, the original release is on the uh, the RCA Victor logo. I'm pretty sure it's, uh, it has a silver logo like, with the dog and the. Um, the record player horn and everything but um, yeah I thought this was really cool um, so I took a chance on it not knowing the exact value of it um, but I'm sure it will sound great and uh, here is uh, record two as well again with the white label promos um, also came in uh, these little baggies here. I believe this came out in 1977, if I remember correctly. But yeah, really, 
excited to see where that one takes off and hoping one sells I think if I remember on Discogs I think 10 people want it maybe one person has it in their collection I'm not too sure but um I need to probably uh, catalog that one pretty soon uh, but next up we got a little bit more common press here we just got the Beatles second album this is a Los Angeles pressing from 1964, but what makes this one good is that it's in the shrink wrap. Um, unfortunately, it has some water damage on both corners, on the front and back side, but other than that, it is pretty good shape in the shrink wrap. And um, I actually found this at an antique store, and the dealer happened to be there. He said he put out some new Beatles stuff, so I took a look, and the, um, I bought a few albums that I'll show later on and he cut me a really good deal so there's the label classic capital label again this is a Los Angeles pressing from 1964 all right so we got another Beatles second album also in the shrink wrap as well you see that but as you can tell by the red seal this is a reissue, and this certain reissue is also on the capital label, but it's on the, the throwback uh, capital label from 19, either uh, 86 or 87. I still have to look that one up. Um, trying to get these uh, videos done before I have to go back to spring break, or go back to college I'm uh, currently on spring break but today's my last day so I'm trying to get these uh, videos done but um yeah that one's a really really nice shape as well and um, we're gonna move on to Beatles 65 also in the shrink wrap um, if you can kind of tell there but it's kind of torn so I'm not gonna take it out to show you but this one is on the orange red capital label from 1976 I'm trying to collect different pressings of US albums that's kind of where I'm at for the US um, albums I got pretty much all the original pressings so now I'm just looking for again different label variations and um, different pressings and then hopefully one day compare them all see which one is the overall winner I guess so yeah Beatles 65 Okay, next up we got two Sgt. Peppers. Um, this will be my Sgt. Pepper copy 20 and 21, which uh, may sound kind of crazy, but they're all different. And um, this one's in stereo. And this particular pressing I've been looking for a long time. There's the gatefold. And it uh, finally uh, popped up for a good price at a, a local store believe it or not so what makes this special pressing is that it's on the marble vinyl this is the 1978 Canadian release on the gray purple vinyl so that looks really nice um, looks to be in really good shape um, Happy for the person who kept the hype sticker on the inner sleeve. Um, I wouldn't mind it if it was on the cover so I can see it a little bit more, but since we have the polylined inner sleeve, I'll probably just stick the record in the back and um, have it showing on the back side. So, been looking, again, been looking for this one for a while, so happy to have it in the collection, finally. Alrighty, so Sgt. Pepper copy number 21. Um, this one's a U.S. album. Or U.S. pressing, excuse me. And again, this is on the 1976 uh, red orange uh, capital label. So, nothing too special about that copy here. And um, speaking of 1976 uh, reissues, we got two from the same year. We got the Beatles Red and Blue album. Um, these were reissues from 
76. Um, I had the originals from 73 and the ones on red and blue vinyl from 78. So these are just the standard black vinyl version on uh, these capital labels here. So nothing too special about those. Um, I'm just happy to get another variation for a, a good price. So. And of course, the blue album follow. Uh, both came with all their inner sleeves, so that's a, a good touch. And here is the label. And both of these seem to be pretty decent shape as well, so that's a bonus. And looks like we're coming down to the last couple records here. Um, the previous. Um, video I had all my solo um, Beatles updates and uh, I didn't have anything from George and um, of course right when you video a uh, when you make a video there's always something that pops up the next day at like your local store so here's something for George here's a, the best of George Harrison and uh, this is the US version I have the UK version on the MFP label I think um, this is um, on the capital label here, so there's the back. And nice inner sleeve. And the label. And there's side one and side two. So there's a there's a record for George bought it right after I pretty much made that video the next day but you know it happens alrighty so we're coming down to the last album and it's not even a Beatles uh, record it's a Beatles related we got Badfinger um, this one has come and get it on it and um, I think I picked up pretty much all the early Apple Badfinger albums now and um, I'll probably be good for a while for Badfinger, I would say. But yeah, that'll pretty much do it. I had a pretty big update. Um, if you watched the, the earlier video I had about the, how I found 200 records on the side of the road, um, I, I kept about 50 or 75 or so, and then the rest I sold, and you know, I got pretty much sold the rest of them. So a lot of that. Uh, money that I got from there really helped out with these records, so that was really cool, and um, yeah, um, I'll probably have my next uh, album ranking video next, it'll be with the Beatles, um, I'm going to listen to it one more time before I make the video, and I believe I'm going to have a little bit more, um, I'll have <laughs> some, uh, some visuals, that's the word, and um, I know I'm not really sometimes the best at describing things, especially songs, so I think I'm just going to show a visual of a song, whether it be like a 45 picture sleeve or just um, an, an, an album to show. So look out for that, and uh, as always, thanks for watching.